Okay, so this time I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, liquid plastic uh, to coat on your props. Uh, in this case I'm going to be coating it on insulation foam to help seal it and give it a little more strength and so I can paint it. Uh, and I'm not really wanting to use fiberglass just because that's more of a pain to deal with. Okay, so I'm using Smooth On 300 or smooth cast, I should say, from Smooth On. Uh, so this jug is the part A. This jug is the part B. Mix them to a one-to-one -one ratio and you get some lovely liquid plastic. White liquid plastic. Uh, I have two cups for mixing. Third cup that I'm gonna be pouring the two parts into. Uh, some chip brushes because once you use a one chip brush, for each uh, layer, it's pretty much ruined because it's going to be coated in plastic. Uh, let's see. Oh, and don't forget latex gloves just to help protect your hands so they don't get uh, all plasticky and whatever other crap. And I'm just going to be mixing a little bit of the stuff. I don't want to be mixing too much, otherwise I'll be wasting it. Uh, once it's mixed, the pot life's about three minutes, so I have three minutes to apply it. And once that time runs out, it's pretty much unpaintable or unbrushable because it's too solid to work with. After that, it takes a full ten minutes to completely dry solid. Uh, Okay. So just a teeny tiny bit of the part A, which is a yellowish liquid, and a teeny tiny bit of part B, which is a clear, thicker uh, liquid. I'm just gonna pour my part B in. my brush ready. Get any bristles out. Part A. All right, I have to start mixing and start applying. So just mix it up a little bit. And let's go on over. In this case, I'm uh, doing my big scissor prop. And I have it clamped down so it won't move. So I'm just gonna spread it around. As you can see I've already applied a couple layers already so you can see that it's a little white. Still a bit flimsy. That's fine. Just coat it on all nice all over. And as you can see, I have some uh, brown paper laid on the bottom because this is dripping. I don't really want it all over my floor because it's a bit difficult to clean up once it's dry solid. So I'm just getting all the edges and surfaces coated well enough. And even though the reaction does cause some heat, because we're spreading it out, it doesn't get hot enough to melt the foam. So it's perfect for sealing the foam before painting. I'm just going to pour this into this. So I have some cracks here I need to fill up anyways. Might as well use it. 
So once it starts curing, you'll see it uh, start actually turning white. And in about 10 minutes, it'll be completely dry and you'll be able to sand off any bumps that may be on your prop. Uh, so that covers uh, applying liquid plastics, uh, SmoothCast 300. It's pretty easy to work with, but it is quite pricey, so you don't really want to waste it. That's why I do little batches. Uh, because if you do too much, it's going to dry on you before you can even apply it uh, in this method. Thanks for watching.